Hello for my Flare Blitz here and welcome to my let's play of Dream of Gluttony. You play a sissy, a normal girl that got lost in the forest. She tries to find her way back home and so decides to take the one that the mysterious man in the forest had mentioned. She then discovers a town where people claim to be food. She has two paths to choose, one of which is all about making friends, solving puzzles, playing mini games. Everything seems to be cute and nice, but something feels odd here. And this game also mentions that it has disturbing content, which is why it's an RPG Maker Horror game. And also it's about food. Lots of food. So let's see what this dream of the gluttony presents to us. And might I mention about how wonderful the graphics look so far. <laughs> game by... I wish I could pronounce that name. One of those electric fishes. Rose! Close your eyes and imagine that place. A lovely land where no one feels any pain. People don't need wealth or fame. A place where everyone is happy. Lie down, relax and let the fingers of dream close your eyelids. Let's create a new world together. A world that won't change into a nightmare. My dreamy rose. I'm pretty sure food can be nightmarish, depending on the perspective. Well, I don't think that was a good path. I can't believe that they closed the main road. Is this a joke? I don't even know how long have I have been walking for. Even my battery has died. Hope I can find a station soon. Aww, aren't we the cutest little sprite ever? Inventory. Inventory. There's nothing in our inventory. Okie dokie. Let's see what we're doing here. No controls. Uh, got a hair ornament on our... On our left side of the head. Imagine if we have a character wearing it. This is a very, very, very dangerous path that we're walking across. What are we doing here? And when's the food going to come into play? Oh, I can hear some voices. The voices are in my head? Or are they about here somewheres? Aww. Look how cute everything is and haunted and terrifying. <laughs> Hello there. What? Ah, some people around a campfire. And that's how we managed to run away. Oh my, a new person. Hmm, somebody got lost again. Eh? Well, I've already stopped counting them. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I think that I'm lost. Could you show me the way to the closest train station, please? Um, so... They have dinner in the middle of a forest, yeah, that's pretty normal. Maybe it's some kind of barbecue, and they live somewhere close. I don't really know how far from civilization I am right now. Yeah, sure. You just need to go straight ahead and then turn left. Once you find the big green tree, turn right behind it. Hmm, after the next tree, you need to jump three times and then turn left. Then you have to turn around five times, I think, and you should reach a place which grows grass. And three. Wow, going wild with your imagination again, huh? That's not it. I use the same route every time I go to town. You won't even there one. So you won't you won't there even once. Well I tried really hard and I was really close. Of course. Um excuse me, I know the way. I can be your queen if you want. Queen? Or we could be astronauts. I want to be the leader. I'm sure that all of the aliens would be blinded by my shine. I'm sure they would, boy. I just want to find a station, that's all. Well, let's just tell her. We won't lose anything, huh? Yes, we should. Hmm, okay. They are weird, but it also seem rather nice. It's not like anyone else could tell me the way. Are you talking about the path next to the big purple tree? I was there once with my dolls. It's a perfect place for tea time. Hmm, you need to go straight until you notice the big purple tree. 
From that, you should turn right and go down that path until you see the entry of the town. The train station is in that town. Even someone like you should remember such easy directions, right? Uh, yes, I remember. Thank you for your advice. Aw, where are you going? Bye. See you. Why are you quiet, Jin? Can we look at the fireplace? Hello. Uh, let's talk about... You won't have enough time to think about your true form. What do you mean by that? Do you want to save the game? Yes, please. There we go. So the save points are periodically. Oh, I think that's the tree. Now let's turn right. Still in a spoopy forest with purple trees all around us. As we casually walk through the forest, you see one very, very spoopy lady. Fo food town? <laughs> food town? Well, that sounds weird, but it should be this place. I can't waste time thinking about all those things. Just suck it up and find the train station, sissy. I will have enough time to think about this day after I come back home and lie in my warm bed. Lovely. I think this might be our new home, though. Uh, how long would it take to get there? I should have reached it already. It's almost morning. Food town is a long way away. Finally! I can't believe it took me so many hours. This town looks so cute. Hmm. I'll need to find someone who knows where the train station is. Does one now. Let's see what's going on here in this town where it's morning all the time. Oh, a cat. What a cute kitty. It's sleeping so calmly. Can I interact with it? Can I? How do we interact with this game, actually? Something would have to be directly in front of us. Hi there. Finally, someone. Hello. Excuse me, but can you help me? I'm a little lost. Dumpling. What? Something is written on the sign. Hello, I'm Dumpling. How can I help you? Okay... I'm Sissy and I'm looking for the train station. Someone told me that I can find it in this town. Would you mind showing me the way, please? Of course, but you are a human, aren't you? Okay... Things are getting even more weird. Um... Well, let's try acting like him. Maybe I won't have any problems because of it, and I can go back home earlier. Well, I'm actually, I'm a passion fruit. Nice to meet you. Really? Nice to meet you too. Let's go. I'll show you the train station. So everyone in this town is named after a food. So this one's called Dumpling, and we're apparently a passion fruit. Next train will be here in the evening, so you can meet some other people in the meantime. It's unusual to see someone new, so I'm sure that everyone will be happy. Really? Oh, that's so nice of you. You can rest after your journey. There isn't a lot of people in this town. Let's go. Okay. Dumpling joins you. Aww. Is that a dumpling right there? What do we do in this place? You said there were two paths that we could take, but we've only conjoined it to one. What is with the synopsis? Maybe the second, well, that points in. Come here. I love CGs. Do you want to save? Absolutely. Everything looks lovely. Did you create the entire town like this? It's very different from a regular city. Thanks. I'm sure that everyone is proud of how it looks. There are a few districts in this town. We have now arrived at Grain District. I'll introduce you to bread and butter. <laughs> I'm sure you will like them. 
They are really kind. Bread and butter, eh? Oh, I see. I can't wait then. Well, I guess that I can act like I'm a food until my train comes. It's only a few hours and it won't hurt me in any way. This place is its own ambience. Maybe it's some kind of old tradition. What to name yourself after food? Dumpling joined you again. Moo! Hello! Why does she stand still? Maybe she's just afraid of strangers. But she doesn't move at all. It's just a really shy bean, trust me. Okay. Can I move around the cow? Do I, can I interact with the cow? Well then, let's be on our way then. <laughs> Gotta fit a pun in every video. It's here. Is that the train station? Hmm? Guests? Hello, butter. Oh, Dumpling, hi, who's this? Her name is Sissy. She got lost in the forest and she is looking for the train station. I decided to show her around the town since the train won't come until late. Hmm? She has a passion fruit. Oh, I see, nice to meet you. I'm Butter, it's so kind of you to visit us. No, no, it's my pleasure. I don't have anything to do until the train comes anyway. Really? If you want, we can take a little. We, we can talk a little. Sorry. Sure. Oh, but wait. I will call Bread. You will. Well, you need to meet him as well. We live together and everything. I see. That's nice. She looks so young. Maybe she is one of those forever young girls. If you say it like that, I'm not too sure on how to interpret this situation. <laughs> Oh, this is a farm of sorts. Bread, butter, and the cow. I wonder what the cow's name is called. Hello, bread. Hello, sorry, I didn't notice we had a guest. It's okay. I'm Sissy and I got lost in the forest. Now I'm waiting for the train. My name is Bread. We were getting ready for breakfast. You two should join us. Thanks. Really? Uh, I will help with preparing the meal. In fact, I am a cook, so I think it would be nice to cook for all of you. I love doing it. Y you're a cook? We don't have any professional cooks in town, so that would be great. I love to taste something made by you. You put your faith in somebody that you just met. Sure, just tell me what kind of ingredients you have and we can get started. <laughs> we have such a unique guest. I'm sure that everyone else would be jealous. Aw, if you say so. But why don't you have any cooks in town? Hmm... I haven't thought about their food. What is it like? Some are ours? If so, isn't it some kind of cannibalism? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit ironic, isn't it? That they're named after food, but they eat food of their own name. You know, everyone here likes to eat, but no one really thinks about how to pro well, properly prepare it, and most of them just don't care about it. That's so weird. I find that really hard to imagine. Well, Bread and I are trying to give our best while cooking, but I'm sure you will make it much better. Nah, it would be so nice to taste it, made by a proper cook. <laughs> Calm down, you are melting. Butter melts. I just can't help myself think of how delicious it will be. Nah, now I'm a little scared that it won't turn out as well as she thinks. Okay then, let's cook. Do you want to save? Absolutely we want to save. Rules. Go through the labyrinth to pick up all the food. Your time is limited and be sure to step over each place only once. You have only three lives. You can use shift to run. Okay. Uh, be sure to step over each place only once. Okay. We got ourselves a mini game. Ah. Okay. This is how it goes then. We don't want to go there then. Um, we can't get that water bottle because we can only step each over each place once. Maybe that could be our end goal actually. Oh, we can't have that as our end goal. Hmm. We can't escape and we forgot the vegetable there. Yeah, it doesn't work out. Need to think of a correct way of doing this. 
Like, oh, I've screwed up again. You lose. You're lost. I know. Hmm, let's try that again. There's no way of getting all of these items. It's just an impossibility. Like, you have to physically go down to the right in order to actually get, then go back up. But there's no path set. Like... Why can't you just reset us? Oh, for goodness sakes, this is no good. It's like, there's no physical way of getting everything in one run. It's impossible. Unless we can go up this way, and then, okay, no, it's still, we need to fit, it's like any path that we take is just impossible to do. Like, why are we constrained to only step it on each tile once? That's so annoying. Okay, I f no, I haven't found a way. Oh, no. I thought I found it finally, but no, because it's just not enough paths to freely use. Oh, well, maybe we could have done it. If we just went, okay, if we go up where, uh, where the, f f oh, goodness sakes, this game is hard. Here we go. This is it. This is the run. Yes, we won. Excellent. We did it. Ah, that's brilliant. It was so beautiful. True art of cooking. So it is not impossible. It's just me not thinking of the way to go. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of my skills. Yes, it was amazing. I really respect you. I can't wait to try it. I've never tried something that looks so good. Calm down. Sissy is turning red because of you. I'm sure we have enough food for one more breakfast. Yay. We will eat it tomorrow. Today is such a good day. No, oh, you're cute as always when you get excited. Thank you. Okay, so let's try it. So we have all the amenities to be able to cook, but not actually be able to put it together. Wow, that's amazing. I've never eaten something so delicious. Yes, great work. We definitely need some like you here. He just gave me a little nod. I guess he doesn't talk about using his size after all. Mute? No, thank you so much. You are so nice to me. But to be honest, my restaurant isn't even that well known. So it isn't like a master chef level or anything. Really? It's such a pity that we are so far away from the big cities. I would try some of their food too. But aren't you happy with being here that's right i love this place even more than food <laughs> oh by the way who built this town and why have you been living here for a long time well we moved here a few years ago in our hometown we heard some rumors going about about this place that everyone is happy and they can just be themselves there's always going to be a dark underlay when you hear a story like that 
not everything is as it seems at first glance. So he decides to find it. Yeah, it's such a nice place. Everyone is really kind and life here is almost perfect. No, it sounds a little like they had some troubles in their past life. But I don't think it's okay to ask about that kind of stuff. Agreed. But on the other hand, it's really interesting that they found happiness living as food. It also makes me happy. So how long have you known each other? Mm, we've been friends since childhood. But we've been a couple for only a few years. That's so sweet. I wish you all the best. Thanks. Lovely. Well, I think it's time for us to go if you want to meet the others before your train comes. Ah, oh, that's right. I'd like to thank you one more time for the great time and the breakfast. No problem, it was our pleasure. If you want, you can visit us later. Okay, goodbye then. Aw, bye. Aw, one O'Shea, I want to interact again. Maybe the interact button isn't enter, but it's something else entirely. Ah, so X and escape, you can go to the main menu. But we can't run. Everything is a very, 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 very slow motion pace. But no worries. Which way do we go now? Let's visit other people within the town and... Do you want to save? Absolutely. We'll put in a deep, different slot. So, what do you think? It was really fun. I've never met someone who would be so delighted with my cooking skills. I told you. Now let's go meet Candy. Candy? Hmm, is it Sweets District? Exactly. It used to be full of people, but now she is all alone here. I'm sure she'll be happy to meet someone new to play with her. Okay, let's go then. Are you sure that there is a train station here, or are you just alluring us in to be a new citizen of this place? And how... Wow, those candies are shining! Hmm, if you say so. I want this kind of plant. Yeah, a plant that grows candy. And also, plants that sprouts muffins out of the ground too. And it even has the little trays that muffins go in as well, how ironic. Oh, is this a gingerbread house? Or just a house in general? Can we... Can we go inside? Nope, okay. Hello there! Hi, Candy. We have a guest. Do you want me to introduce her? Sure! Don't tell me that she is a... No, she's a passion fruit. Hello, my name is Sissy. Nice to meet you. Hi, hi, Candy's name is Candy. What are you doing here? Candy hasn't seen you before. I got lost in the forest and now I'm waiting for the train. Dumpling suggested me to meet everyone who lives in this town, so here I am. Oh, Candy understands. That's cool, because no one else comes here and Candy doesn't have anyone to play with. Do you want to play with Candy? Sure, I have a lot of time. What's the game? You have to remember every type of every candy that Candy shows you and then pick the right one. Candy loves sweets, so Candy won't give you any, but it will be fun anyway. Oh, I also love sweets. But I'm not good with making them, only some cakes. <laughs> you are able to make sweets? Teach Candy. Candy loves sweets. What happened to her? Okay, I can give you the recipe later. It's not a problem. Ah, oh, that's so great. Candy already loves you. Candy loves sweets and people who make sweets so much. So much. Oh, that must be a great love. Have an affection for food. Remember all candy shown on the picture and pick them before time runs out. If a candy is shown more than once, you must pick it only one time. Good luck, thanks. Um. What? Like, how do I. How do I. How do I pick? How do I. Like, how, how do I pick a, um, 
Um, okay. Oh, it's a... Cool. I think I understand, actually. This one. That one. And then that. Okay. Bow, bow, planet, moon like thing. Um. Damn it. Oh, some of them are just identical, though. Yikes, there's five of them now. Oh, dearie me. Um. Yeah. Uh, I know I lost. Oh, thank goodness. We won that one with two errors. What? Hey, how fun you managed to pick them all. Yeah, it was a little difficult, but I did it. It was fun. Wasn't it? It's much more fun to play with someone else, not Candy by herself. Hmm. I generally, well, I generally like games. In my free time, I play a lot with my friends. Really? Wow, it sounds so cool. Candy's friends don't like to move a lot. Well, maybe that's because you want to play for too long. And you are really lively. No, Candy is just happy. I can relate. Playing outside is such a great way of spending time. Yay, finally someone who understands. Hehe. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to give you a recipe for the cake. Yes. Okay. Candy loves sweets. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so listen carefully. Cream together the sugar and butter, beat in the eggs one at a time, then stir in the vinegar. Combine flour and baking powder. Add to a to the creamed mixture and mix. Finally, stir in the milk until butter is batter is smooth. Then you have to bake it for 30 minutes. Oh, candy is a recipe. Such a nice recipe. I'm sure it will be amazing. Did you hear, Dumpling? Candy received a recipe. Um, we're literally right here. Mm, are you going to make it soon? Let me taste it when you are done. Of course, candy just has to find all the ingredients. But, eh. Uh... Well, I can tell others that you have a new recipe. Okay, okay. Candy will give you a small piece. Just don't tell the others. Oh, but that would be nice to show it with a rest. No! Okay, she's really serious about it. Anyway, you should come here later and play with Candy one more time. Candy is always free. Nobody else has some time to play with Candy. Maybe one day someone new will come to the sweets district. Even so, they won't stay for long if you... That's a little mean for Candy. I know it's mean for Candy, but he's just trying to be honest, you know. But that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will come over if I have some spare time, but now we have to go. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bye. I hope we don't get to meet Candy again in the store. I'm joking. <laughs> Aww. I'm sure Candy just wants to be friendly, but still... Do you want to save? Yes, please. Man, that took a bit of time for me to fathom out. Like, puzzles like that are just very struggling for me personally because of my... Anyways. What is this district? It's vegetable district. And next is fruit district. You should get ready because there are a lot of lively people. Okay, but I really don't mind it. I wonder how they are going to surprise me this time. This time really seems like it came out of some cartoon. Doesn't it just now? Dumpling joined us again. Rest in peace, little tomatoes. Oh dear. What happened to the tomatoes then? Eggplants. And parsnips. And carrots. And potatoes. And a big old pumpkin here. <laughs> Hello there. Whoa, Dumpling. Hello, tomato. Yo, what's up, man? 
Good, we have a guest. Sissy is a passion fruit. Hello, nice to meet you. Yo, I'm Tomato. Cool to meet someone new. We haven't had anyone, any new people here for like, ages. <laughs> I got lost in the forest. I'm really lucky that you have a train station here. Train station? Huh? Yes, we will visit everyone in town until the train comes. Oh, nice idea, man. Your timing is great. I'm about to make some sauce. Sauce? You mean tomato sauce? Yeah, tomato sauce. <laughs> oh, I, how would I have known that it would have been tomato sauce you were going to make? Mm, I wonder how I can help. I'm pretty good with cooking. Really? Whoa, man, that's great. Making it with someone else is much more fun. Fun? Do you like to cook too? Mm, I just like making sauces. Well, that's pretty weird. I've never met anyone who would like to only make sauce. Well, tomato sauce is my speciality. Let's go, I'll show you everything, man. How many curious now? Okay, so you just have to throw rocks at me until I tell you to stop. What? Thinking about it as a game, I'll run a little to make it more in interesting. Eh? Yes. Shoot tomato. You have to do it a few times until your sauce is ready. Be careful with time. You have to shoot him at least once before it runs out. You can shoot by using the A button. Okay. Thanks. Good luck. Um. What? Um. Like, really? Okay. I should have hit him then. It just goes straight through him. Like, the rocks just simply go straight through him. It doesn't hit him, it just goes straight through him. Every time I hit him, it just goes straight through him, so it's impossible to win. Oh, did he just... Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, we have this board. I just realized that. I just tried to stick to the middle just because it has the most amount of parameters. At least once, you say. Hmm. Do with the eventing. You won. Yay! Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you look really, really haunted. Oh well, man, it was dope. It is because you are a cook. I'm not sure. Oh, but it only makes you a more special. No one else has made a sauce with me in such a brutal way. Um, I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> you seem to be so tired, man. You should rest a little, even if I'm the only one who did running. I'm just mentally done. Oh no, I'm just a bit tired, that's all. But playing view was fun, I like sports games. Well, maybe not with rocks though. Ah, oh, so cool, man. If you like this kind of things, we can make a nice duo. I'm not sure, but it would be a little weird. No, that would be dope, you would be a great putter. Um, what are you talking about? Yeah, baseball. Before I arrived here, I had been a player, dope player. Uh, I used to watch it on TV from time to time. That only makes you a better material. If we gather everyone, we'll have a really cool team. Yes, but I'm leaving today. Oh, but you gave me a lot of inspiration, man. Feel free to come here again if you have some time. Yeah, I really don't know. Oh, but now, source time. Oh, yes, what was it about? Our game? Didn't have anything to do with making sauce. Why? But that was the most important part. How? Well, we are almost done. We just have to add a few some spices. What? Where? Mmm, dumpling. Do you have some salt and pepper? Sure. Yeah. Okay, sissy. Look. Did he just put his blood onto the spoon? Okay, a little bit of sauce and we're done. I can't believe it. What? Something must be wrong with him. It's so... Oh no, it's ominous, isn't it? Yum! Gross, that is cannabis. <laughs> yeah, no, try it, it tastes so dope. What? No! Oh, 
come on, man. Just one sip. Uh, no, come on. Come on. Open wide. Stop it. Gotcha. Now you have to try. It tastes like tomatoes, doesn't it? What? But how? Are they just normal people? What is happening here? Just as I said, no need to panic. Can I try it one more time? Sure, you can. You made it. Well, good that you like it. Yeah, man. It's so weird. I can't believe it. It's true. Tomato sauce. And it's gone. It was cool spending time with you guys. Yes, thank you for those new experiences. It was really interesting. Glad you liked it. Me too, but we have to go now. Oh, okay. It was nice meeting you. Bye. See ya. I have absolutely no idea what is happening here. Where am I? Is this place even real? I'm thinking that as well. Is this place even within the real world? A pumpkin living amongst the tomatoes. So a tomato living within a pumpkin. Yes, please. Okay. We're going to leave it off here today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll be to each other's in the next time of this gluttonous dream slash wasteland have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves